second. Give Twitch a chance to realize I'm streaming. Mute this tab. Act like I know what I'm doing. Check. Fresh cup of coffee. All right, things look uh, okay on my end, so I'm just going to have to hope and pray that they are. Let me check my audio levels. Yep, haven't haven't uh, OBS hasn't uh, done me wrong, so that's good. All right, so hey uh, everybody, I'm Joshua. Today is July 18th, 2017, and uh, this is a little series I call Lunch Break Roguelike because it is a project I work on during my lunch hour, and it happens to be a roguelike, so that seemed to be the best thing to name it. Um, if you want to follow along, uh, the project is open source. You can find it behind my head here at github.com slash Joshua Skelly slash lunch dash break dash RL. Um, it's not a strict tutorial. You don't need to follow along. Um, but I also check, I do uh, add a tag for every episode. So I guess this is the beginning of episode 22. Um, and that's uh, where we're starting. So you can do a get check out episode 22 if you care about that. If you don't care about it, I don't blame you. You can just watch and uh, uh, kind of hear me rationalize my, my, my thought processes as I make this thing. So what is this thing? This thing is a Python roguelike that um, is playable through Twitch chat. Uh, so here is the uh, the game view. Uh, on the left here we have um, a list of entities and items, uh, creatures, whatnot. On uh, the right we have a list of the players. And we have uh, the map here and there's a console down here in the bottom. Uh, we don't see anything right now because nobody has joined the game. So I can go over here to the Twitch chat and I can type join. And then I will pop in the game. Uh, so right now I'm surrounded by items and enemies. You can see there are two uh, green kobolds and several uh, yellow items. I think I might even be on top of something. Let me uh, let me try moving uh, down, up. Yeah, I was sitting on top of the axe, so I can I can grab that now, which is the highest damaging weapon in the game. And I can attempt to track down this little kobold. Nice, and I, I got the kobold. I, I, I killed him and he dropped his sword on the ground. Um, also for my, my end of things, I can use my mouse and I can draw in um, the walls of the level. I will eventually have procedural generation, but right now uh, this is what I have and it works okay. As you can see, stuff gets randomly added to. There's a class called the Dungeon Master class that just populates the world. Um, uh, there's, there's a small chance every tick for it to add a new item or a new enemy. Um, yeah. Cool. So let's get, get to work. Uh, I think the last thing I was working on was the, um, the throwing stuff. So we'll, let's do a git log. Yeah, initial work on throwing. I think I left myself a note in there saying uh, there's some stuff that's incomplete. Uh, so let's take a peek at that. Oh, okay. I guess I must have already had an instance of this open. Don't save. Okay. Um, and I think uh, throw is maybe an action. That seems like it where it ought to be. Yeah, to do make sure this isn't off the map inside geometry or inside another creature. Yeah, so those are uh, a few things that uh, we need to do. Um, so what, what I'm doing here, if I remember correctly, is I'm getting um, the direction from the person who's doing the throwing to the target and then uh, moving them along uh, that, that distance. Uh, and I, did, I just call this um, this map dot which which just returns a, a series of points uh, in a line between the um, the the source and the destination, um, and it's up to me to make sure that those things um, aren't like solid or even outside the level. So I think what I need to do is I need to start at. Um, basically the person doing the throwing and I work my way along that until either I hit the end or I hit something that's, that's not um, uh, passable. So let's look at scene.py. Um, 
So I think I have check collision. Um, returns true player. I'm, I'm going to make it easy on myself and just add another def uh, is solid. That's self x and y. And this should return um, not self dot check collision uh, x, y. So I think that's the opposite. So that, that this seems a little bit, little bit easier uh, for me to understand is solid. So scene is solid at this point. Um, um, yeah, that seems fine. Um, and also maybe uh, def get entity uh, at and self and x and y. Um, results equals a list because there might be more than one entity at a given spot. So uh, for e in self dot entities, if as adder e dot or e and uh, position. Um, um, and e dot position equals x comma y result dot append e and then let's just return it there we go and this handles the uh, the offsetting of the chords too so we can just pass in um um let me add a little comma here this uh convert from uh local to uh episode, local to world space Maybe, I mean, let, me, let me think about that for a second. Self the x minus level that x. So if you're at 10 and the level that x is 10, you're at zero, that's correct. Hmm. Uh, so convert from world to local. Um, and let me just do something like let me just add a doc string i don't know if i've talked about those at all um it's even like let's just say uh i think they usually do like this param maybe let's just say x um the uh, x coordinates in world space y the y Let's just do it that way. Uh, checks for returns true. Um, uh, cool. All right, I think that makes that makes sense to me, maybe. Uh, we'll see. All right, so then let's go back to uh, back to our action. Because so I think I think these these positions are in, in world space as well, so I think that should be fine. Um, for point in oh, I already have that down here, so. Uh, level is seen at level for point in path. Um, um, so it's inclusive. It's inclusive of the. Actually, we don't want to throw from the owner position. We want to throw from the uh, self dot target dot position. I think that's where we we really want to throw from. Um, and basically, we can uh, maybe update. Um, we can update dest uh, as we iterate through this. So, um, for point and point, dest equals point. Um, if uh, 
scene.scene.currents. Let me just capture the current scene as well. Uh, let me just do something like this. Okay. Current scene dot is solid uh, at um, point. Then we need to break out of our for loop because we've hit a um, a solid object. Um, I think also uh, if current scene dot get or get uh, what is it? What I call it? Entity at get entity at. Let's look at our scene. Let's actually let's just close others, then reopen scene, and then I have get entity at. Yeah. And then let's unpack point. <clears throat> So then I guess we can also, we can also break here. Um, and then, so what this, what this should do is it should iterate through all of the points in the path and, up, and set the dest to, um, to that, uh, the, the current point. If we can make it all the way through, we wanna throw it to the dest, so let's say dest. Okay, uh, I think that should work like I think it does. Um, so let me jump in uh, and try to test this a little bit. And also chat, uh, feel free to jump in as well and help me test. Um, that is totally acceptable. Any, anytime you see me around the game, you are welcome to jump in. Um, though it, it will most likely be short, I'll let you know if I'm letting, letting it run for uh, any, any longer period of time. Oh no, there's a cool with the glove. Let me let me restart this. Yeah, that is that is the the plus and minus of the 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 creatures in the dungeon can do exactly the same things as players is they can sometimes uh um they grab things that I want and that's a bummer. Oh, I managed to kill that kobold. Okay, I got the glove. So I threw the kobold, but nothing happened, which is, which is not good. Um, and I think, yeah, he killed me. Um, let's put some debug code in here, I guess. Um, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. So target position equals dest. Um, uh, print. Uh, up. Updating uh, throw dest nation. Uh, dest. Uh, cool. Let's also, I guess. Print uh, found a wall at and then do the same thing for entities. Found uh, found entity at and uh, Let's just say 
find that. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that for now. Let's, let's try, we'll just try to see what is actually going on. He's standing next to the glove, it makes me nervous. Hmm. Hey Lagarcito, thanks for joining in. I think I think my my dog is t trying to tell me something. Okay, so I threw the kobold. Let's see what my my output looked like. Um. Oh yeah, because you. Um. Yeah, that's dumb. Um. Uh, yeah, uh, let's do, let's do for point in path, um, and then let's do, let's do the slice like that. So we don't, cause, cause it's, it's finding itself. And I think, um, a couple things, let me do this, that. Let me run the game. That should that should fix it, but I, I will need some help testing it out. Yeah, I got a haircut. Happy haircut! <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I I shaved and got a haircut. Like I feel like a whole new, uh, a, a fresh, a freshly shorn babe. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, I, there won't be um, a stream um, Thursday or Friday because we are traveling. Um, we are going to visit my mother-in-law, um, and she lives in Florida, which is very hot. So I wanted to to get uh, my summer cut, so I don't die. Um, here. Um, also, I think I think my my dog is telling me he needs to go outside, so I'm just gonna let the game run a little bit, uh, and I'll be right back in just a few minutes. But if you guys want to try to test out the uh, the the glove throwing for me, that would be awesome. And I'll, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, my poor, my poor dog has um, been having stomach issues. So uh, when he came to, uh, when he came upstairs, I was worried that uh, he was going to get sick. So 
Luckily, I can just let the game run while I, I tend to him. Okay, let's see if I can actually throw something now. So fire. Hey, fire dragon. Um, I think I'm going to try throwing you. So if you just stay put, um, I'll try to give you a toss. Uh, hey, Fire, Fire Dragon, could you move up one square, please? Cool. Yeah, okay, that worked. Um, let me see if I can throw you against a wall, so just sit tight. Oh, I threw you inside the wall. My bad. <laughs> um, okay, uh, you should be able to step out of there. So yeah, so let me uh, let me fix those checks. Um, so let's not update the point until we've verified that. Um, uh, that it's not solid. That that would be the wise thing to do. Um, yeah, so if it's not solid, break. If it is solid, um, I guess I should allow people to be thrown over. You can be thrown over um, items, but not in uh, creatures. So, um, so let's do this. So, uh, entity or uh, entities equals this. Uh, and then if entities uh, for entity for e and entities if is instance of e and uh, so up here. from entities import creature and then here uh, creature dot creature break otherwise will allow you to be thrown over um, uh, thrown over items which should be which should be fine um, cool and then I, I want to add the animation for this too I think that should be relatively straightforward. Like I said, I prototyped it up the other day, so let's see if I can just crank through it. Um, so it, it's going to be, um, so it's an animation. Um, uh, class, uh, let's say uh, motion. Let me just, let me quickly just duplicate this and then I'll keep, so I can see that one there. Uh, uh, let's type animation. Um, it needs a constructor. Uh, but the constructor is going to be um, uh, uh, source, dest, and uh, time, I guess, is, is okay. Um, um, I'm going to use Bresenham in here again, so I need to pull that in from TDL or TDL. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, self dot uh, points equals map uh, or TDL dot map dot Bresenham. Uh, source test. Um, self that time equals time. Um, 
And how about sell that time to next? Uh, that's fine. Uh, equals zero. Um, and then uh, self dot uh, frame time is equal to um, time divided by uh, the len of self dot points. Because we basically what we want to. Uh, for however long we say this animation is, we want to spend um, whatever the appropriate fraction of time is at any given point. Uh, so there is that. And then we need a def update. Um, which takes a self any time parameter. And we need a draw. Which takes a self and a console. Okay. Um, and then in here, uh, self that time to next plus equals time. Um, if um, self that time to next greater than um, greater than equal to self that frame time, uh, self that time to next is zero. Um, Uh, self dot current frame uh, equals zero. Let's rename this to frames, and then then of self dot frames, and then uh, self dot current frame plus equals one. Or actually, you could just say current frame is equal to um, self dot frames dot pop. Uh, is that right? Current frame is just the current point. So point, 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 point. Okay. Uh, self that current point equals self that frames pop zero, and let's just wrap this real quick. Say if self that frames pop. So if we when we hit the end, don't don't try to pop from an empty list. Uh, then draw. Um, probably want to. Uh, yeah, there's a self dot parent here, which I think we should just require maybe source dest time. Um, uh, yeah, uh, let's just add it here parent and uh, self dot parent equals parent, and then um, uh, for the time being we don't. I guess we don't care if it's not visible. Well, that's an easy check. If not, uh, um, I think does scene have it is visible? How does that work? Check visibility. Yeah, this is, I guess you a check visibility here. Um, uh, if uh, self dot current point, or actually, um, it is, uh, import scene, and then uh, scene scene dot scene dot current scene dot check. Uh, visib uh, visibility. Unpack that. Uh, return. I just need to negate that. Not. So if it's not, if the current the current location isn't visible, don't show it. So if you throw somebody out of visibility, don't draw them. 
Um, but you draw the wall, there's still invisibility. Um, and I guess I want to just do um, console da, or um, p, p equals self dot parent, and then console dot draw care. Um, I always forget the the syntax for this. It's something like x y. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, p dot position, p dot care, p dot fg. Um, yeah, and p dot bg. Points. 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 Get that. Let's get the whole frames and points thing figured out. Let's look at frames. Okay, that's gone. Okay. Um, this should work okay. Um, so now in the actual action of throwing, um, uh, let me let me also look. Let's look at the. So let me reference where we use this. The hurt. I think it's in uh, creature. Maybe creature. Entities creature um, animation uh, flash backgrounds and pick yourself. Oh yeah. So then, okay, okay. So uh, let's look at uh, action, throw action, perform. Um, yeah. So here we also want to do something like. Um, um, animation and go down here and um, uh, any equals animation dot uh, motion it needs a parent so that's self dot target and it needs a source which is self dot target dot Position. And it needs a dest, which is dest, and it needs time, which is say 1.0. That should be it. Okay. Um, um, Annie.parent equals self at target. Actually, that, that should already be that should already be set up inside uh, the constructor for motion. So then uh, Annie.parent, no Annie or uh, self dot target dot children uh, append any that should work um, let me look at the animation real quick so I, I can't remember if they they know if they're smart enough to remove themselves um Okay, so I need to I need to add that to the update. So, in update, um, uh, if self dot uh, so actually I need to say something like um, uh, else if there, if, we, if we don't have any points, uh, self dot remove. I think that's what I need to do. Um, how does this guy do it? Self dot remove self. Oh, self dot parent dot. Yeah, that's the correct call. Let's do that. Um, so let's <laughs> let's test this out now. Uh, quiet day. Uh, MB. Okay. Uh, 
I threw the kobold, but it did not animate. Um, uh, what did I do wrong? Actually, let me just put it on. Um, um, what's a good thing to put it on? Yeah, let me let me do this. Let me um, let me let me uncom let me comment out this visibility check. And then just I'm going to hard code it on one of the kobolds, I think. Um, so Annie equals and um, Just ordering those real quick. Um, my kobold buddy is here. Animation dot motion. Uh, NPC, NPC source is NPC dot position. Uh, best is say um, uh, twenty five comma eleven. And I messed that up. Let's do like that. NPC MP position, uh, dest is that, and time is say 4.0. It's going to take several, or actually just make it 2.0. That should be one turn. Um, okay. Uh, NPC dot children dot append any. That should be enough to make it work. So we should see this kobold uh, animate immediately. Uh, five positional arguments, but six were given. Oh, I don't need to unpack position. That's my, my mistake. Yeah, so it was uh yeah yeah yeah. So I, I see what I, I see what I did wrong there. Um so it showed it showed the kobold but it didn't move because we're not actually updating the point that we're animating. Um so when we're drawing uh we're drawing a character here in this animation, we don't want to use p dot position, we want to use um self dot current point is what we want to use. Yeah. Uh, that should be fine. Um, uh, I guess the problem right now is um, the parent will be visible. Um, but actually, let me let me. Yeah, so the, the parent will be visible um, in both their destination and in the animation. Um, so maybe I need to draw over both. Um, uh, So I think I have a way to um, dot scene dot current scene dot level. I should be able to grab the character of the level. Um, I should be able to do that. Let me see if I have any any helper functions in level or not. Uh, level. Yeah, so that's just a simple wrapper, but it doesn't take into account the offsets. Um, uh, uh, so uh, dx equals, um, actually, yeah, so it should be um, uh, self.parent.position uh, at x. Um, plus level that X. I think levels have an X and a Y. It does. 
and position at zero because x is not defined. Okay, and then dy, uh, level dot y. Okay, so that's dx dy. And then what I want to do is um, equals level dot get error at dx dy. Um, should be right. Yeah. And this should be actually care and FG and BG. And then um, uh, console draw care. We're going to draw directly on top of the um, uh, self dot parent dot position. And um, uh, FG and BG. So that should work. Let's um, uh, let's also rename this because this is uh, throw motion uh, or throw motion. And then um, I need to update the action. Um, throw motion and in scene. Update scene. Let me launch this. Let me run this real quick just to make sure it does correctly animate as I think it will. Okay. And then let me add that visibility check back in the uh, animation. So just un uh, uncomment those. And let me play and see if I can actually uh, throw something successfully. Man, no! Don't do! Don't you dare do it! He's gonna do it. Oh, he grabbed it! Dang it! Uh, let me quit and try again. Okay, now I guess to throw them. Yeah, so I threw them against the, um, the wall, which was correct. Um, Oh, I got a crash here. Um, uh, 30 comma 9 is an invalid position on console. What's it trying to do? Uh, level get care. Um, the gel mug says, what is this roguelike? So this is um, a little project I work on every, every lunch break. And it is a small roguelike project that I'm building uh, one hour at a time during the week. And it is a Twitch playable roguelike. Uh, and right now I'm working on adding items that differentiate player actions. So I'm working on making the glove that lets you throw things. Um, uh, I'm just curious why that crashed. 30 comma nah. Why is it? I'm doing the math wrong somewhere. Yeah, so let me just not worry about drawing over the parent for the time being. Um, hopefully that isn't too weird. Yeah, and since I only have 15 minutes left, let's just play for a little bit. Let, let people get a um, close. Let me just let it run for a little bit so folks can see what's going on and then we can test out the, the whole throwing mechanics to see if they actually work. 
They should work, uh, but the, the animation should be a little wonky. That's okay. Yeah, so feel, feel free to hop in. I'm gonna let it run a little bit. Um, so th the gel, gel mega says I'm planning on making a roguelike, but my game engine is distracting me from it. Yeah, no, uh, that's fine. Um, there, are, there are definitely people who there are engine builders and there are game makers. You know, um, they're not necessarily the same person, and that's fine. You know, um, uh, if, if 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 making an engine is more interesting to you, that's cool. Um, I am a game maker, so I more I I I, I prioritize making the game over. Uh, the surrounding tech and unfortunately i guess unfortunately or fortunately um the fact that my my lunch hour is only an hour a day i have to be very um i guess uh like 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 i said just really kind of ruthless on, on like how uh what i choose to implement and how i choose to implement it oh no fire dragon's getting into a fight well you have, you have a dagger so you should win that fight okay Uh, Joe Mega, feel, feel free to join in. Um, yeah, we're starting to get outnumbered here pretty quick. Nope, oh, something happened. I think I hit the potion. Uh oh. Uh, P is not defined. The comment out parent. Let me take a look at that. Sorry about the crash there, uh, Fire Dragon. Yeah, I need I need that. Okay, close. All right, Mr. Task Manager. Okay, there we go. So on one hand, I'll be happy that um, I will add procedural generation so I don't have to do this. But on the other hand, I'll be sad because I actually do like drawing these little levels. Um, so if, if, if you don't know, I also work on a, um, I have a, a, a roguelike game on Steam called Delver. Uh, hey, Nymphius. Uh, it's 5.51 AM and I'm late to the party again. That is totally fine. Um, I, I do prefer Joshua, but I will answer to either. I'm not, I'm not super strict about it. Uh, no worries there. Where are all the kobolds? That's my question. <laughs> Let me see if I can uh, did I increase their spawn chance? Yeah, so um so what I did is I lowered the chance that the dungeon master will create something and I turned up uh uh Get him. Yeah, there we go. So that, that, that kind of works. Um, Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that worked out okay because I threw him outside the visible area. Uh, let me go throw a potion. Um, so today, uh, what did I do? I, I made it so, uh, so the previous stream, I made it so you could throw things, um, but you could throw things through walls, into walls, uh, into enemies, and I, I've shored up the, um, um, I've shored up that so you, you can't, you, can, you, you can't throw items through things anymore, and uh, I'm starting to work on the animation for the throwing. Let me see if I can give Nymphius a little little toss. <laughs> it still is, it's a little little distracting with the um, like you being in two places at once, uh, but I think that's okay. I guess. Um, We still have the we still have the issue now that people with gloves um, can't pick up items, which I need to suss out how I want that to to, to work. So I think I think throwing items is cool, um, but um, it is a pain if you can't you can't do the things you want to do. Cool. Let me see if I, I'm gonna try to throw this and see what happens in the corner. Ooh, I threw it through the wall. That's not great. Um, <laughs> why would it do that? Um, Yeah. Uh, Slayer Darth says, greetings from not America. Hello, Slayer Darth. Uh, feel free to jump in uh, if you like. Oh no! Fire Dragon, <laughs> Fire Dragon just threw me through a wall. Oh my goodness. I also wonder too, like if you throw items and they land on somebody, should they like they should they apply? How should that work? Should we just do like a like a oh no, get away? Uh, Slayer Darth says this is written in Python. I take it. Yes, uh, it is. Yeah, the, the hit animations are working. So you can see it, you should flash um, uh, when you get hit. Hmm. And uh, the kobold kills me. Yeah, the, the glove just... I wonder if I should just make throwing just a normal verb you can do. Uh, that might make sense. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think there's a there's a bug that um, it's it skips uh, the first cell of checking, so that's why you can throw through walls if the item's immediately adjacent to a wall. Um, uh, if not, um, it should stop if it's more than one square away. Um, this is written in Python. It uses the TDL framework, and it also uses a uh, the Twitch Observer package. Uh, which um, myself and a viewer uh, wrote to handle the Twitch chat integration, which was, we actually just published the first version of uh, Twitch Observer yesterday, which is a, is a helpful little thing for turning Twitch chat into handleable Python events. Let me join back in. Oh, let me go grab another glove because I didn't learn my lesson the first time. 
<laughs> um, I'm starting to think that maybe I'm thinking with a glove, if you throw something um, and it hits hits like a wall, it should do damage. <laughs> yeah, the, the kobold should definitely be able to throw you. Yeah, the kobold is throwing swords around. Um, yeah. Um, yep, that's that's the one. Uh... Yeah, it was a fun little project. Um, yeah, and it was really it was it was good collaborating with Felix. We're still uh, there's a few more things we'd like to um, do with it, uh, but it is it is very usable right now. Yeah, hey Tyreek, welcome welcome back, man. Yeah, no, so the the throwing uh, is getting better. You can still you can you mostly can't throw through things, but you kind of can. So yeah, Kobold picked up a glove and now is throwing things around. Um, um, uh, TDL. Uh-oh, Nymphius. Oh, oh, Nymphius, did you get thrown outside the world? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I, th I, think, I think we should. I think... Um, I think... Things thrown into other things should perform the default action. I think that would be really, uh, really um, interesting. Yeah, and also this project itself is open source too. Um, Slayer Darth. Uh, let me. Yeah, if you look at my repos, it's the uh, the lunch break roguelike. Uh, let me just drop the link here in the the stream. Um. So, yes, um, uh, currently I am uh, independent freelance uh, working for myself. Uh, previously, I worked for both Lexmark and Microsoft as a professional software engineer, but I wanted to uh, try doing my own thing for a while, um, which also coincided with me being a stay-at-home father for a while. So that, that's been, it's been a fun experience. Um, yeah. Yeah, a professional software engineer. Um, I do uh, art on my video game Delver, um, which you can see me work on on Sundays, uh, and that tends to be more of a like two D, three D art uh, and, and some programming. Uh, I, I I split my dev time between Windows and uh, uh, Mac OS. It just happens to be that my my desktop is my my fastest machine, so I prefer to stream on it because it can handle uh, streaming and doing other things. Get out of here, Kobold. Oh yeah, no, I, I um, yeah, I am very cross-plat. I don't care about the underlying system. Um, I mean, ultimately, I want to I want to be able to sell things on all platforms, right? So I, being familiar with uh, as many operating systems as I can helps me um, in that uh, respect. Um, and I, I did have the fortune that when I worked for Microsoft, I, I did work on one of the open source teams. Um, so we got to work on um, Linux, Mac, and Windows while I was at Microsoft, which was pretty cool. Oh no, Fire Dragon. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man. You can almost make like a little mode where you um like you try to throw each other out of a ring or something. Yeah, I think the the, the being able to throw is, is pretty pretty darn expressive. Um, um uh, cool, yeah, I've um I've 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 played around with Ubuntu and uh, SUS and a few other distros, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Tyreek, how the animation works is um, when you throw somebody, I go ahead and I trace a line uh, from the start to the finish, and as long as you don't hit anything, I put you at the finish. Or if we do hit something, I, I stop you earlier, and then I add the animation, which 
um, draws uh, uh, from the start to the finish, but you're already at the finish. Um, and I want to have the animation eventually, it'll, it'll temporarily hide the, the parent, um, but right now that's not working. Uh, but uh, for the sake of playability, I just went ahead and uh, left that, um, I let that slide for now. Because um, usually what, what you would want to do is something like turn off the parent visibility, um, do the animation, then flip it back on. But right now, my visible property uh, represents if it's in, within the player's vision and not necessarily like if it's invisible or visible. Um, Slayer Darth, you have to join first. So let me, let me join again. Join. And Tyreek, I don't think you're in or you died. Yeah, roguelike, roguelike wrestling could be interesting. That could be very interesting. Yeah, I think I want to. I want to add a little bit of uh, some nuance to the throwing. Like, if you get thrown against a wall, I want to maybe stun that player for a couple turns. Um, um, I think you're right. If 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 you throw a weapon at a player, that should do an attack roll. Um, should should throwing a potion basically just apply itself if it hits a creature? Is that something we should consider? Um, Sidra says, I really like VS Code, even though I don't use it enough. VS Code and Solar Text are one of the best. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, I like, I, I use uh, VS Code, Sublime Text um, quite a bit. I use uh, PyCharm uh, for my bigger Python projects. Um, I guess, I guess um, a disclaimer, I did work on a team that um, uh, wrote stuff for VS, for VS Code. We wrote a few extensions for VS Code. We didn't work on VS Code itself. Um, but we did make a few uh, plugins, uh, some of the official Microsoft plugins for VS Code. Um, it, uh, any app on Mint Electron has to be open sourced. Um, depends on their license. Um, depends on their license. All right, so we're getting to the end of my lunch hour. Um, but like always, I will leave this up for people to, to play around and, and goof with. Um, but I will just, um, uh, I will do my, my stream sign off, but I'll still be here trying to do a little bit of work with you guys in the background. Um, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, let me think. Yeah. So, uh, Hey, I'm Joshua. Uh, this has been lunch break roguelike. Uh, this is uh, a series where I take my lunch hour to work on a small project. Um, at first I didn't think working on something an hour a day would yield much progress, but I've made surprisingly pro uh, progress. This is 22 hours in. And I have a Twitch multiplayer roguelike thing going, so I'm pretty pleased with the progress I've managed to make in such a little time. It's been fun. Um, I think I will do a Series 2 eventually, and I think uh, I will open that up for pull requests from the viewers. But right now, uh, that is not uh, the situation. Um, I want to thank uh, everybody who uh, comes to my streams. You guys totally like pump me up, and it really I look forward to my streams every day. It, it's something that is becoming part of my, my daily routine, and I really, really enjoy it. I want to thank my subscribers. I'm an affiliate. Uh, how did that happen? Um, but yeah, my subscribers give me, they give me life. Um, they are awesome and they support what I do in a, in a monetary way. Um, and that, that's, that's really, that's really awesome. Um, and for subscribers, you get, let me make sure I have this running. Um, you get a couple things. Uh, one, at the end of the last Friday of every month, um, I am planning on doing a, um, an eight hour stream. So from 8 a.m. to um, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, I will be working on projects directed by my subscribers. Uh, so this coming subscriber stream, which is gonna be Friday the 28th of July, I am, I've been requested to show the basics of 3D modeling in Blender. And I've been requested to um, make a Minecraft mod um, so I may try smashing those together. I'm not sure um, if there's something you'd like to see me work on. Uh, it could be almost anything, really, anything in the creative vein. Um, I will give it my best try. Uh, all you have to do is just subscribe, and sometime before the end of the month, I'll fire off an email to you folks asking what you want to see, um, and I'll do it. Um, so yeah, have a good rest of your day, and I'll let this run in the background.
Hey, Nymphius, you did subscribe. Don't don't play coy. I just wanted to thank you. That means the world to me uh, that you support me uh, doing my weird stuff. Uh, thank you for the subscription. Um, again, if you want to, just let me know what you want to see me work on by the end of the month, and I'll work on it. Uh, I really appreciate it. Take care.